Alright guys, so as you can see, I've colorized my folders in a very elegant way, and in today's video, I'll show you how to do that on your Mac. I hope you guys enjoy, thank you for watching. Alright guys, so before we start the tutorial, I just wanted to kindly ask you guys to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell if this video is being helpful. With that being said, let's move into the tutorial. So we're going to be using an application and the link for that application is going to be in the description box so you can download it from there install it and i'll show you how to do the installation process as well you can scroll through the website as well to see how many features this app has but in this tutorial i'll go into be covering everything that you need to know so if you go on top or if you go to the link in the description you can open it and then you'll see an icon or a click of a button that's called free download you can download that application by clicking on it and then after the download is complete i'll show you what you need to do so let's download the application and then if you open it you can just easily drag your application or drag folder colorizer to your application list to have that app fully installed now once you open the application for the first time it's going to ask you for a trial all you need to do is type in your email address and then you will get an email to your inbox you can open it and you will have your trial installed i've already done that so i'm just going to open the application and then you will see uh, the application running perfectly now the steps to do the customization for the folders is going to be shown to you on the right hand side as you can see but i'm also going to show you everything accordingly and all everything very simply all you need to do is drag the folder you want to customize to the application or to the place where you see the folder icon from there on you can do the customization now you have the ability to choose the color of the folder and you also have the ability to add an emoji to the folder uh, you know it's much easier to find folders based on the way it looks you know for example this folder that i have has a lot of content related to audios footage you know the things that i do on my youtube channel so the best way for me to find this folder or to look at it uh, easily is for me to add an emoji that reflects the content of this folder so like i said because it contains audio and footage i'm just gonna have an icon of an audio and also an icon of a camera you know just to make it look like what the folder is you know and it actually makes it look very elegant and for the newest update that runs on mac with these wallpapers it just makes it look so professional so let's do another folder as well so this folder that i'm going to customize now has a few documents related to traveling you know visas and whatnot so let me just have something that reflects that uh, content as well. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a background uh, instead of changing the color. And then I'm going to add an airplane icon. And while I'm at it, let me add an airplane emoji as well, just to make it look cooler. And obviously, you can just search for the icon that you want by using the search bar. And there you go. And then you can just click on colorize folder and your application or your folder will look like an application and will look very elegant as you can see in front of you let me do another folder as well so this folder that i'm going to customize it contains some work documents uh the work documents that i have and by the way if you're enjoying the video it will be very helpful if you click on the subscribe button and also like the video as well so like i said this folder contains my work documents i'm just going to add a briefcase while I'm at it, I might even add a laptop icon or a computer icon to reflect that is is a work document or a work folder. So let me just search for the computers and then add that icon. So as you can see, if you click on colorize folder, you can just easily apply the customization that you did. And you know, the process is really easy. So as you can see, it makes your home screen or your desktop look very elegant. One of the good features about this uh, program is that you can uh, adjust folders or adjust the colors of the folders as well. So you're not limited to the colors that the application gives you. You can actually choose colors based on your own uh, satisfaction. Like you can create colors for the folders to look like, you know? So let me just do one more folder as well. Uh, for example, this folder that I'm going to customize, it contains my academic documents. Uh, it's from my university. So I'm just going to ref some, do some customization that reflects this. Let me just add a backpack, you know. A backpack reflects a university very well. I might as well add a pen uh, to have that look like a document or a folder that, ref uh, that has uh, university or academic documents. So I can easily just search for 
something like school and just choose the icon for that and I can like I said I can change the background or the color of the folder to your satisfaction there's only one downside to this and uh, the the downside is that you can't choose a dark color for example I, I, I wanted to have the folder be black but unfortunately the application doesn't really apply that I don't know why maybe in the future updates they might fix this but for the time being you can choose a color that's dark like you can choose black or let's say dark gray or dark blue it doesn't really work but maybe they'll fix it uh, and I really hope they do because dark folders is something that looks very nice on desktops so as I said uh, you can choose that and you can do the customization uh, I'm going to also show you how to remove the customized folders like let's say you want to have something to go back to default I'll show you how to do that in a matter of minutes uh, it's really easy there's only one option to do that or there's only one it's a, it's a click of a button and it will fix it for you so you don't need to worry about that uh, before we do that I'm just gonna add one last folder uh, you know, I have a folder for Java related documents like classes and, uh, you know, Java files and I want to have that file look very elegant. Even though the file contains numerous folders, I'm just gonna customize this in an elegant way. So let me just choose a simple color, maybe, maybe it will be a bit dark and uh, not blue, obviously I'm sick of blue. Every folder now that I've used, as far as I've used my Mac, it's been blue so I'm just gonna change that really fast and then I'm gonna add a fire icon I feel like this will go along very well with this uh, color so like I said you can just go to your emoji list and then choose a icon or an icon from there like I said you can't really choose a dark color I wish I could because let, let, imagine if this folder was black and then you would add an, uh, an emoji of fire it would look very nice and I'm not sure about you but I would really like that so well, like I said, unfortunately, you can't choose that now, but, you know, let's just go with what we have. So, like I said, you can choose the icon of a fire, and I think it looks very nice. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, you can just click on Colorize Folder, and you will have that customized folder work. And by the way, uh, like I said, if you want to undo these customizations, or if you want to remove the colorization that you did for your folders, all you need to do is open the application, drag your folder back into the application, and just click on Reset to Defaults, and it should do the job for you. That's in case you want to remove them. So that's it for today's video. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope this video makes your Mac look a bit cooler now. If you have problems or issues, make sure to comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.